And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and this is the Boss DD8 Digital Delay. Yes, mm. it delays stuff. In stereo today, we're going to hook up in stereo to the UAD platform using a Marshall Plexi for both sides. It's sweet, sweet stereo. And we do have a, a SD1W Wazacraft Super Overdrive down here out of you if we want some... Uh, some Grungy. Grunginess, drivenness. Is, is, is. Oh, we're going to get some sounds, but if you could hit like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like the channel and like what we do, and um, comments and questions below too. Yes, please. Be much cooler. That would be totally cool standy. Sure. Uh, all right, so the DD8, uh, possibly somewhat overlooked because of the whole 200 series. I think they came around mm. the similar sort of time as the, um, the whole 200 series, um, which there's, let's say, a video of the 200 series delay here. Okay. So, uh, DD8, uh, the whole DD series has sort of been, I think, quite a successful series for Boss and quite a groundbreaking series. There was a DD2, DD3, DD5, DD6, DD7, and now DD8. Yep. Uh, uh, I, I'm a big fan of the DD3. I've been a d fan of it for quite a while. So, uh, this is sort of a new and improved version. A few different things here. Um, you can run it stereo in as well. We don't, we're not really doing that. You can have expression pedals. We don't really do that. Um, it works kind of the same way as any other Boss DD pedal. You've got um, level uh, feedback and delay time, and then you've got this rotary switch here to, you know, it goes to whatever setting you want it to be, analog emulation or uh, uh, warp, or, you know, there's all the different settings. Uh, also, the other thing you can do, this is an on-off switch, but if you hold it in, uh, it goes green and red, and then it becomes a tap function as well. Which is super handy. Which is very, very handy. Yeah. And then if you hold it in again, it goes red and then it just becomes an on-off. Uh, you can hook up an expression pedal to it, which then either you can set it up to be a, a, an external tap tempo and all that sort of stuff. So, hmm. But we're not doing that today. Also, the other thing I should mention is there's a little switch. We'll take a photo of it. There's a little switch in the back uh, where you can turn trails on and off. So trails just mean... Actually, Alex, do you want to you just quickly sure. do that? Mine, yep. So if we do this... <laughs> So uh, you turn it off, but it keeps the the delay trails. If I flick that little switch over, and we do that, so hang on, let's set it to faster delay because yeah. it's a bit. That was a bit more feedback. Okay. Oh, hang on, let's do that again. So no trails means it turns it off. That's yeah. that little switch. I personally would just leave it on trails. Yeah. See, so you turn it on, and the trails are still there. Just. It kind of depends how you want to use it, of yeah. course. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, we're going to go through the algorithms and see the different tones. Just going to do a quick quick run through. So do you, do you want to start? Sure. So we set at the moment, there's a looper there as well, and I think you've got up to 40 seconds of loop time, but it's a looper. We're not going to go through that. Mm. Let's start off with the first setting here, which is analog. Uh, so analog, let's see what they say about analog. Analog is a mild analog delay with 20 to 80 millisec 800 milliseconds of delay time. Most of it, uh, except for the reverse and the glitch one, goes to 800. Uh, glitch is 400 and the reverse goes up to 5 seconds. Fun. Um, but uh, so it's, most of them are 20 to 800 milliseconds. So let's have a quick look. This is the, just everything 12 o'clock. Okay. And let's see what it sounds like. So I'm just playing around with a few things. So if you turn the uh, effects level all the way down, it's it's all dry. Mm. I think all the way up is sort of more 50-50. It's not really all wet. I think it depends on the different algorithms as well. It almost seemed like it was like a bit over half. Like... 
it's a bit loud. Yeah, you still have the original signal there, but um, and if you turn feedback all the way down, you just get one repeat. Uh, and if you turn feedback all the way up, you get um, many. Self, many, 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 many self, many. Uh, um, self isolating. <laughs> Not self isolating. Maybe self oscillating. Year. Maybe this year. So this is one. That's and what one sounds like. There's lots. And you can make funny sounds. Hey. Um, so that's the analog setting. It's quite funny a pretty sounds. setting. It's, yeah. it's just a little bit darker, I guess. Yeah. The next one is standard. So that's your standard delay, uh, digital delay. So just to hear the difference, I've got, just put everything at 12 o'clock. Just to hear the difference between analog and digital. So this is digital now. Or, I mean, they're all digital, but this is the standard digital, and this is the analog emulation digital. It's a bit darker and trails off darker. So that's the main difference. So uh, let's do a little bit with the digital. Sure. So this actually, that's, I mean, that's a perfect candidate for um, that sort of dotted eight, dotted yeah. eight kind of thing. with that. Let me, let, me, let me see if I yeah. can get the dotted eight thing going. Well, that sort of thing. That works really well with the digital, digital yeah, the yeah. most cleanest sounding delay because you get the cleanest repeats. You, are, you get the idea. You get the idea. I mean, it, that's that's sort of one of these things everyone does. Okay, next one. What's the next one? Tape. Sure. Um, so what do they say about tape delay? It is a sound with, with modulation that is distinctive of a tape echo unit. Again, 20 to 800 milliseconds. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Nice modulation in it. Can I have a yeah, go? Yeah, just thinking. More paddy kind of thing. It's very pretty modulation. Uh, let's do like a. It's nice. 
it's a nice paddy sound, nice sort of, and different kind of modulation and different kind of roll off as well. Mm. The analog is darker, tape is actually usually brighter. I think it rolls off a lot of bottom end, bottom end yeah. as opposed to the top end with, you know, the analog thing. All right, next, uh, where do we go from there? We got what warm. Uh, okay, what's warm? Warm is a mild digital delay. There you go, mild. Let's get mild. <laughs> Some nice mod actually some nice modulation in it too. Should we try more of a like a slap backy kind of thing with that? Yeah, I thought I might just give it a bit of poke with the overdrive. Oh yeah. Poker drive. <laughs> Good, because that little bit of modulation gives it makes it interesting. Yeah. Okay. Next, what are we up to now? From warm, we go to. Oh, this is right up your alley. Reverse. Yeah, yeah. Reverse alley. <laughs> So with reverse, you can get rid of completely get rid of the the dry signal. Uh, so hang on, let's 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 go psychedelic, Alex. Okay. So I think with reverse delays, for me personally, reverse delays, yeah, it's kind of using more like a paddy kind of thing. So I have lots of repeats. Something and just... away from standard modulation and um. I think the whole totally reverse thing, yeah, well, the whole <laughs> totally reverse thing, I, I mean, it may work in certain applications. For me, I, I like reverse delay as a different type of delay. Mm. Um, okay, next. Almost where you'd use tape delay, kind of more ambient. Yeah, stuff. yeah. So the next one is the plus RV, so it's plus reverb. So all it mm. says is delay with reverb. Well, there you go. Let's, Can you let's change see. the reverb? Okay. Nope. Uh, oh. Yeah, you want to go? You go. Sure. Why not, eh? So this isn't a delay mixed in with reverb. Uh, I think the reverb is fixed. You see, just mm. everything else works normally. Feel 
This guy looks slappy. Slappy? Definitely something. Definitely something. All right, next one. Next, this is, next one's one of my favorites on here, Shimmer. So the Shimmer basically, it changes the pitch of the repeats and it brings them up an octave. Mm. Or I think possibly even two in some cases. Two? It's out of control. Mm. Mm. Whatever. So basically, with the shimmer, um, as you turn the effects level up, you get. It's it's. You didn't hear that, but it was a it's like a soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> and it is, it's sort of to me that it, like I, Tim Burton kind of soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to me one of the things shimmer, right? This is just me, right? But shimmer. Hmm. Some shimmers work, some shimmers just don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, like you turn on some delays, some reverbs that have shimmer on it, and some you just go, nah. And some you just kinda of get lost in. This one is really good, I think. This is one of the f one of the few really exceptionally good, and I'm not just saying that because there's a video for Boss, but hi Boss, hi Ed, uh, but uh, I do right. think that's quite exceptionally good. Yes. Um, the, the, the shimmer part in it, and just especially for the kind of little bit sort of spooky, and you turn a turn the. Um, it's funny how such a pretty sound can be so spooky. It makes it's super sinister. Yeah. I find you turn a, you turn a feedback up a bit, so it kind of sits there. I mean, you have those. You have a semitone there, which is that's like nothing is more sinister than a semitone. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it kind of sits on top of it. It's it's just I really dig it. That's one of my favorite things on this pedal. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. That's my. F that's probably my favorite thing on here. All right, next. All right, next. Oh. After Shimmer, we've got Mod Modulation. So, what does it say about modulation? It that. just says delay, digital delay with modulation. See how modulated it is. Let, let, let's.
That's one of the problems with delay. You make you do something wrong, yeah. you hear it a few times. That one's broken. Okay, is it? Okay. Oh yeah, you heard it just then. Yeah. Totally. That's lovely modulation. That's really nice. It's interesting kind of wave shape and how it sits. It is. Again, I always play this sort of sinister stuff. For me, delay, I don't know, it always takes me to like a sinister place. Uh, <laughs> which is, yeah. And then we have warp. Okay, so warp is one of the different ones now. So warp, uh, uh, do you, you do it. Uh, okay. Warp, basically, as you push that in, it oh, kind yeah. of does this ramping thing. So, let's so you, you, you play something. Play you know. some harmonics again. got a shock. I, I shocked. He shocked himself. Futuristic space cowboy gunfights. Yes, exactly. That's that's how they do that. Um, <laughs> they do. So that's what warp. Warp basically you hold it in and it kind of ramps everything up. It goes to kind of self oscillation thing. Uh, okay, last setting. So we've gone all the way through. Um, Sweet. Successfully. Is gilt. Gilt. Which I think is glitch. Does that stand for glitch? Uh, gilt creates a machine gun like sound. The effect is applied while you hold down the. Okay. Uh, I think it may be glitch. So mm. what it does, it's somewhat similar to on the old DD3, for example, and DD2 even, had a hold function. Mm. It's kind of along the same kind of vein. So you play something, and you actually have to physically hold it in. It's a, this becomes a momentary switch. And depending on where you have your um, delay time set, yep. it will grab a little bit and repeat it. So if you play something... That's pretty cool. You kind of got to do it. It's one of those things you got to kind of almost time it yourself, but yeah. I'll try. But basically, it's, you know, you can make it longer. It grabs it longer bit. You can make it shorter and it grabs a really short little bit. Um, I think that's one of the things you have to do with you. You have to kind of do it with your foot. The yourself. only thing I wish you could do with this, mm. that because I think it's pretty cool, I wish there was a way to make it random. So you randomize this, the, the, so it, yeah. One time you push it and it's a really quick repeat. The next time you push it, it's a longer repeat. I wish there was a random setting. Like that's a, the only thing I wish. 
Well, those m modules in Eurorack are like the um, where they like sample and hold type things. Well, it is kind of a sample and hold type thing. But as yeah, like you say, um, random. Random, type, where you can random is. every time you push it, it's yeah. a different setting. Yeah. Um, because it's cool. Mm. I mean, you do. Mm. You know, you you play some. You know, um, and then we move the whole thing, but. Um, you can repeat things, but the thing is, if it's always the same, to me, I, I would I would love for it to be just random. So literally, you have no control over it. One time you hit it, it does one thing. The next time you hit it, or have maybe like a thing where you can turn it on and off. Mm. Um, I think that would be really really cool. Um, but all up, I mean that, that that's that's all the way through. All up, um, we've been using the DD ad quite a lot in our videos. There's quite a lot of videos where we, um, if you watch a lot of the other boss videos, let's say there's one here. Sure. Um, well, we used the DD8 as a delay, and I've all up. I've been really liking it. Yeah, solid. It's really cool. The um, nice. Um, I think modulation sits really nicely. It's yeah. Some thought gone into how that sits. Yeah. And yeah. The rates and depth. And I think the the modulation on it yeah. sounds really good. The shimmer on it sounds really good, mm. and I do really like that glitch sound. Cool. Um, the other thing the, with the warp, I yeah. wish there was maybe one of the knobs you can control how crazy it goes you know so you play something and instead of it completely taking over you could have something that you put you hold the thing down mm. and it just it's like a drone it sits there so maybe even you know the the, the level you could almost control how how much sure that's yep. the only thing uh but other than that i really really like it to the point where if if you're watching this ed you may not get this back yeah <laughs> <laughs> hello um, yeah, what do you guys think? Leave yeah. comments, questions below on the video, and we'll try and get to all of them. Yes. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. If you've um, got the other DDs or you like this one and got this one, let us know. Yeah. And um, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, once again, thanks, Ed. Hope you're well in Melbourne and everything's going okay. I think he's in Sydney. Oh, is he Sydney? I think he's in Sydney. Yeah. Oh, don't Possibly. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not sure, actually. Sydney or Melbourne. <laughs> forget, forget. Sure. but thank you boss uh, Roland Australia for sending this out to us and all the mm. other boss pedals as well um, uh, yeah and yep. thank you so much for watching oh there's a link below to Instagram Facebook and our podcast check those out if you've got some time and um, thanks for hanging out and watching the DD8 video bye bye